Hello and welcome to another video. The other day I posted something about chat GPT on Facebook and a lady commented expressing her frustration how she was struggling to access um, the chat GPT platform. I responded and told her to keep trying, you know, because I've personally experienced that frustration myself. And then later someone else also commented and responded to the lady and he said the solution to her struggle assessing the chat GPT was for her to wait for Americans to go to sleep. <laughs> and that got me laughing so hard because I didn't think that the difficulties assessing chat GPTs at certain times could be linked to a certain time zone you know or people in a certain time zone being up or people in a certain time zone sleeping so it was really hilarious and also like a light bulb moment you know when something you haven't thought about and then someone says it and it makes complete sense it was at that moment like now i know why you know so it really got me thinking and suddenly i was like yeah yeah now it makes sense you know while i do struggle to assess this at certain hours of the day so here's my message to americans dear americans please go to sleep early and wake up late all right we need to assess chat gpt here in africa more often so if you can sleep more the better for us <laughs> anyway Usually around 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is around 4 p.m. here in South Africa. That's, that's when the largest number of people in the world are likely awake and on their computers or on their devices. So it's difficult to access platforms with limited capacity like ChatGPT, you know, at that time. ChatGPT is still growing, so I guess this problem will be resolved at some point. When I try ChatGPT here in South Africa, I usually get the message um, ChatGPT is at capacity right now, and that is usually around late afternoons, which <laughs> the Americans are up. That's their morning, right? So once again, dear Americans, if you're watching this, please go to sleep early and wake up late. The longer hours you sleep, the better for us here in Africa to assess the ChatGPT platform. I hope that isn't too much to ask, right? <laughs> so, why am I even talking about this? Well, I wanted people to know how Africa is being oppressed once again. <laughs> no, come on, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I thought this was funny and I just wanted to share, okay? Whatever is happening at ChatGPT is not some big conspiracy against Africa or against anyone experiencing difficulty um, assessing the platform. I think it's just what happens when a product is new or when a service is new and they are still improving on it. So no one should take this narrative of ChatGPT oppressing Africa, you know, and start saying funny stuff, all right? Sometimes just relax and have fun. Everything doesn't always have to be through the lens of victimhood, all right? So relax, relax, just relax and have fun, which is what I'm doing right now. I just thought this was really funny and I wanted to share, okay? So the best time to actually access ChatGPT is in the mornings here on the continent in Africa, uh, which is usually about midnight Eastern time. At least they are, most of them are asleep at that time. <laughs> So in the mornings here, we can access ChatGPT easily. It becomes difficult late afternoon. So um, maybe, just maybe, we may also have to wait for the continent of Asia to, to go to sleep because they are the most populous continent in the world, you know, accounting for about 59% of the world's population. That's a lot of people. That being said, the rest of the world don't have to wait for the whole of Africa to go to sleep. Because even if we are up, only a small fraction of the continent is actually connected to the internet. Which is really sad, but it is what it is. Hopefully the infrastructure on the continent becomes better and more people get connected to the internet. Where we also have people from the West pleading, you know, for us to go to sleep early so that they can access the internet. <laughs> 
anyway thank you for watching once again and i'm looking forward to seeing you in my next video